Hi, you're in the US. It's 1961. JFK! He wanted to improve the economy and education system and give more care to the elderly and poor through his new plan called The New Frontier! He launched a successful program to aid developing nations across the world and he called it The Peace Corps! As a reward, he decided to go for a drive in Dallas in a midnight blue 61 Lincoln Continental four-door convertible. As a result, he was shot in the neck and the head and was killed. Nixon! Richard Nixon, born in 1913, was raised in Whittier, California. He thrived academically and graduated from Duke Law School and returned home to continue pursuing law. Then he got married and joined the Navy. Nixon ran for Congress and was elected, and later won a seat in the U.S. Senate. Two years later, he became Eisenhower's Vice President. Woo! He was nominated for president in 1960, but lost to JFK because he's a sweaty, greasy little boy. However, in 1968, Nixon was elected president and was doing some good things. He built and reestablished relationships with Russia and China and created the Environmental Protection Agency. But then there was the Watergate scandal. There was a break in at the headquarters of the Democratic National Committee in the Watergate complex. The Nixon administration had tried to cover up their involvement, and Nixon claimed to know nothing about the break in. However, recorded conversations in the Oval Office were leaked, and despite being re elected, it was virtually inevitable that Nixon would be impeached. So he decided to resign out of disgrace. Jimmy Carter was not like Nixon. He was moral. He was Christian. He would never tell a lie. He made peace between Israel and Egypt, but when Americans were taken hostage in Iran, a helicopter from the rescue team exploded and the hostages were not saved. Ronald Reagan, yeah. Reagan was born in Tampico, Illinois in 1911. His early career began in Hollywood, where he pursued acting and made appearances in 53 films over the course of 20 years. In 1947, Reagan became president of the Screen Actors Guild. This got Reagan involved in disputes regarding communism in the film industry, and his political views changed from liberal to conservative. In 1966, Reagan was convinced to run for California governor and won. He was even re-elected four years later. By 1980, Reagan became president of the United States of America. Two months in, Reagan was shot in a failed assassination attempt, but made a speedy recovery and was re-elected as president. Then he signed a treaty that ended the Cold War. The nation also enjoyed its longest period of peace and prosperity without any recession or economic downfall. However, Reagan did basically nothing regarding the HIV and AIDS epidemic, and the administration called it the Gay Plague because it was thought that only gay people could obtain it. Bill Clinton. He managed to balance the federal budget, but the public turned against him when he lied to the nation on television about the Lewinsky scandal. Nevertheless, he remained an effective president. For example, he helped attain peace in Ireland, and when he left office in 2001, his approval ratings were Hi! George Bush. During the 2000 presidential election, Al Gore had won the popular vote by over 500,000. However, the fate of the election would be completely determined by Florida's Electoral College votes. In the end, Bush won the election 271 to 266. Damn, that's close! Bush was faced with one of the hardest challenges for any president since Abraham Lincoln, 9-11. In response to the attacks, Bush called on the War on Terror in the Middle East. The war was supposedly regarding weapons of mass destruction. However, no weapons of the sort were found. He was re-elected as president in 2004, but lost a lot of popularity. This was due to economic recession, and also his response to Hurricane Katrina. 